That is one big pile of shit. So yeah, the first half of this movie is just text, but it's still worth going over to point out that even the text has its problems. As I brought up in the last video, a survey done in 1996 estimated the weight of the stone of the pregnant woman at around 1,000 metric tons, which is not 1,200 whatever ton he's talking about. Okay, I'm the only one in this room professional enough that I know of to carry this block for I'm the only one. I do not understand this concern with the size of the stone. It is quarried out of existing limestone. It's whatever size they want it to be. The more impressive thing would not be that they carved it out, would be that they removed it without breaking it. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, learn a little bit about the subject and you'll see what I'm talking about. From an engineering standpoint, it's more difficult because you think this is going to slide down as you cut it. Yeah. So it's more difficult, but they, find they had a reason for doing it. The guy standing on the rock is Stephen Mailer, whose biography is a tad bit confusing. It claims he holds three degrees in the sciences. Don't wave your fancy degrees at me. And also worked before becoming an author and tour guide for the Rosicrucian Order, which is a community that studies and practices the metaphysical laws governing the universe. Weird. As to what he is saying there, I find it confusing as to why he's confused about the angle. He thinks it would slide, but there's this big pile of dirt preventing it from moving. Likewise, this is a quarry. You're taking the rock out of the ground. This rock is still attached to the ground. How is the angle of the top of the cut of the rock going to make it slide? That's not gonna happen, Rick! When rock sediment sedimentates, there's man magnetic alignments in the rock as it, uh, as it sedimentates. It's almost to the same angle. It's hilarious to me how that random dude at the top of the rock is trying to sound profound and talk about magnetism of this limestone, but just trails off because you could tell he doesn't know what he's talking about. As to limestone, since it is a sedimentary rock, it most likely has detrital magnetism, which is a magnetism that exists, but not on the same scale as, say, a uh, magnetite or hematite with very strong magnetic signatures. Yes, yeah. yes. We're looking at exactly, almost exactly the same angle of the unfinished opening. Man, it's so great when we work as a team, you know, everybody puts it in it. Yeah. It's just incredible. Yeah. That's what the chemist school is. It's a living book. Yes, this is a very impressive structure that we have here. But to say this is a living book and try to connect it to ancient lost civilizations and hidden knowledge is a completely different result. So this is another massive block of at least a thousand tons as I crawl uphill in the quarry across the street. Of course, the whole thing was a quarry. And you can see where later cultures were trying to cut smaller pieces from the mega block. The implication here is that the large block was cut by some advanced ancient civilization and the small blocks were cut by those dumbass Romans who couldn't manage to cut a big block and could only cut small blocks. This is an unsubstantiated claim and he of course provides no evidence for it. And it is possible that originally it was part of this massive limestone outcrop and then was cut and fell in its present position. Why would you quarry limestone vertically and have it fall into place? 
That's not how this game needs to be played. That's a stupid fucking sentence. The quarry is all limestone. You don't need to chop limestone vertically out of an outcrop. His lack of knowledge on any of the subjects he talks about is truly amazing. You're an idiot. And there's a local story that the, the reason that the Romans built this massive structure here was to show their wealth and power, but that story was probably made up by the Romans, who were obviously in shock when they first found this place. That was so terrible, I think you gave me cancer! If you want to claim the Romans found these megalith blocks in place when they arrived and lied about it, you need to provide some evidence. The extraordinary claims are not supported by extraordinary evidence. 